It's Strawberry Story Time! Hi everyone! Welcome back to Strawberry Story Time. Are you ready for a story? Well, today's story is called Bentley the Bully and it's written by Holly Mizuki. Shall we go and find out if Bentley really is a bully? Come on. Children scatter when he comes. Others find a spot to hide. No one wants to be around when Bentley comes outside. He's big and mean with muscles. Just his presence makes one cold. He pulls girls' hair, beats boys up, never listens to what he's being told. For you see, Bentley's a bully. No one dare stand up to him, unless you want a big black eye or a broken bone like Tiny Tim. For months and months he kept on top, no one challenged him at all. Until that one autumn day, he was approached by a boy very small. Hello, my name is Harvey. I may be little, but I'm not afraid. You see, the way you run this playground has everyone in need of first aid. It's not fair how you treat us. A change needs to happen fast. All you need to say is sorry and we'll put it in the past. Bentley's mouth hung open, too stunned to speak, then smiled. Why should I say sorry to you? Then pushed the little child. Harvey brushed off all the dirt and stood up nice and tall. I think that you just need a friend. You seem lonely to me, that's all. Bentley looked him in the eyes. A tear ran down his cheek. You'd be my friend after all I've done to you this awful week. Of course I will, cried Harvey. Every one of us needs a friend. And you can be ours too, Bentley, if you put the bullying to an end. Bentley moved towards Harvey, no one knowing what he'd do next. Then he replied, I'm really sorry for not showing you respect. And ever since that autumn day, no one's scared when Bentley arrives. Instead of screaming children, there is laughing and high fives. I hope you enjoyed that story, Bentley the Bully. Don't forget to ask your grown-up to subscribe so you can see what stories we've got coming next. See you next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe.